we have a forest pansy redbud here and it has a little issue with it that we're going to correct for you for this video and you can see right at the base of it it has leaves that are the wrong color and what this is is that the, the plant is grafted and its rootstock is a different plant and the rootstock is coming up and we don't want that to occur we want the rootstock to be solely sufficient on the scion wood or whatever you're trying to graft on top of it so we're going to take our handy dandy pruners and we're going to go down here and we're going to just prune off the, I guess you can call it, it's not really a reversion, but just like the suckers coming up from the root system. And you're pretty much good to go. And since we're here, we might as well just trim this guy off and we'll trim this guy off. And we'll have a happy little redbud tree, maybe to sell them next year or the year after that. And it's important to watch and make sure that the uh, stakes are holding, correct? Yeah, or you don't get too much top growth on it. And what can happen then? We have a tree like that guy right there, who uh, had too much top foliage, and apparently it looks like to me that he slid down, or the one I was holding it up broke, and it, it, the, the tree, the trunk of the tree wasn't strong enough to support all the wood, and we had a rainstorm come through with a lot of high winds, and it blew against it, and Knocked it over. Knocked it over. Okay, well, thank you very much, Mike. And this is Mike at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313. If you have any questions about your redbud trees, call Michael at 267-446-2376.